Hello and welcome to the Rula Bula podcast live from Lucan. So, first up today, we have Bob, and I'm going to hand the mic over to Bob. Take it away. Hi, welcome to the KS podcast. This is about, well, KSP. And, um, it... No, not KSP. Not KSP. 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 And, uh, um, well, here is the news about KSP today. Well, on May 30th this year... There's a breaking ground expansion pack that, no pun intended, it was released, including mm-hmm. robotic parts and ground science and uh, new cargo oh, parts and rover arms. And Kerbals now have inventories and new spacesuits, so that means there's more to do than just... Um, drive a rover around for no reason and plant a flag when you've gotten to, um, say, Moho or Duna. So, yay, the end. Okay, well done, Bob. Now we're going to go to Ludi, Joy, Karolinka and Kaylin. Hello, we have a special guest in today. Hello, my name is Ludi and I am a... A eight-year-old girl, and also I have a special speech. We must stop using chemicals on our planet because we are getting rid of pollinators. Without the pollinators, there are no plants. Without the plants, there are no herbivores. Without them, there are no carnivores, and without them, they there are no us. So, without carnivores, there are no us. There's nothing left for us to eat. Okay, now I will move on to them. Now you say what you want. And you can say your thing. I can do it. That we need to help nature by destroying some very tall buildings like a little one skyscraper and make a forest there for animals to live. Your show, your kids show. Very, and I bet you all love a good story. So me and my friends like stories. What is fun to Okay, so one day, a mouse called Sally woke up from her den. She yawned to herself. Maybe I will go for a walk in the origami flowers. On the way, she saw Beeble. What are you doing, Beeble? She asked. What am I doing? Said Beeble. Very, very confused that she didn't know what bees do in the morning. How did the bees? I am collecting pollen. Do you want to see how I work? Sure, said Sally. Then the bees sung a little song. Buzz, 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 buzz. <laughs> buzz, bee, go on. Buzzy, 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 buzz. That's the way I travel. Buzz, 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 buzz. Traveling from flower to flower. That was lovely, said Sally. And then on the way through the origami flowers, she met a guinea pig. She didn't know who this guinea pig was, but she asked the guinea pig what was her name. What's your name? asked Sally. My name's Maya, said said Maya. (laughs) Well, my name's Sally, said the little mouse, and off they went into the forest. The end. And then they had tea, and that's the end. Wait, what? (laughs) 
Okay, now stop. Okay, nice one, girls. Next up, we have Alice, Anuska, and Abby. Take it away, guys. Hello, we Hello. are people. <laughs> Welcome to the Ah podcast. No, it's Ah trivia related podcast. Oh, right. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm going to ask Alice and Anu, which are the other two A's, some questions. And if they get them right, they get a point. Yay. Yay. Right. May the best one win. First up, at what temperature does water boil? 100 degrees Celsius. Yeah, 100 degrees Celsius. Good. A point for each of you. Bing! (laughs) Now, who cut Vincent van Gogh's ear? Himself. Uh, I don't know why he would do that. I don't know. Ding! One point for Alice. Yay. Question three. How do you spell anti disestablishmentarianism What? A N T I. No, you don't spell it. How do you spell anti disestablishmentarianism Give up? Yeah. Okay. No point for you to give. <laughs> How do you spell it, though? <laughs> <laughs> you can read it. Four. How many AI experts does it take to change a light bulb? Uh, no, none. Just hire an electric. Robot. Just hire an electric person. <laughs> yeah, that's the AI a, robot. a robot, I guess. Question five. Final question. How do you make chicken nuggets? Um, Ask the chicken nicely. That makes it. Alice is the winner. Congratulations! Yay! Oh, and also you have to order a pepperoni pizza. Done. You see your prize. (laughs) What is my prize? A pepperoni pizza? Yep. (laughs) Yay! But I get the pepperoni. Yeah. You don't even like pepperoni. No, they're for something else. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well, anyway, that's the end of our. Totally weird game show podcast. See you soon. Ah, uh, trivial related podcast. Do you get the pun? Probably not. Bye. Yeah. Catch our new episodes. Ooh. Awesome. I learned some things there, but I certainly didn't learn how to spell that word that I can't even pronounce. Well done, guys. Next up, we have Sersha, Arisha, and Hannah. Welcome to the SH165 show. Today we'll be, we will be talking about music. I think listening to music is a great way to relax and is very helpful when you are stressed. Now may I welcome Cassie McSweeney on to talk. Hi there. Thank you for inviting me to, on your show. I'm very excited to be here. Now we have some questions to ask you. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. What's your favourite instrument? My favourite instruments are guitar, piano and violin. How is your fav- what is your t- favorite type of music? My favorite type of music is pop music. How do you feel about music? I think that music is a good way of expressing yourself. Sorry, that's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoy the show and have a good evening. And thank you, Cassie, for coming in. So next up, we have Kate and Alex. Welcome to our podcast. Today we'll be talking about movies and books. We'll start with Harry Potter. Harry Potter is a movie about, and book about, this um, 11-year-old boy. He On his 11th birthday, he finds out that he's a wizard and an evil wizard. He killed his parents. And um, what's your favorite book or movie? I think, I think it might be the first one. Because um, it starts off the whole story, so... Um, I think it has the most, the most um, out of all of them. Yeah, and do for the book or the movie? The book. Mm. I do too. Um, it has a lot more information. So let's move on to Star Wars. Um, which is your favorite, the new ones or the old ones? I think it might be like um, the new ones. I prefer the new ones. I, I prefer like the um, kind of the old ones. Mm. I just prefer that a girls actually have a star role in this one. Yeah, cause, um, cause um, it's all um, based on boys. Yeah, it? cause the um, cause the boys are um, like are the only one who who actually hold lightsabers. Mm. So I don't, I don't really, I think that um that the girls should too. I I think in like there's 
there um there is a series about this where where there might, there actually are like one or two girls who have mm. lightsabers, but in the movies, no, no, like it's only the girls who have guns. Mm. Well, um. Now, I'm going to talk about a movie I know. I don't think you know. It's a really old movie. It's called A Wonderful Life. It's this movie about this guy that thinks he's worthless. So, an angel is sent down and shows him what life would be like without him. And he sees how, like, his brother would be dead. And, um, like, he meets his wife. And, like, she's a librarian. Or something, and he goes to his house, and it's all like broken stuff down and stuff. Okay. Well, let's talk about um, David Williams now. So I I am quite a little bit familiar with this author, but I I um, I've heard a little bit of his books, but I I don't think I've ever read them. Mm. My favorites are Awful Auntie about this Awful Auntie, as you can hear in the title. She has this great Bavarian mountain all and then there's also um bad dad and there's grandpa's great escape and roll Dahl, do you know all those books now yeah um i um i think my teacher bought um bought the whole collection mm. so there's matilda there's bfg there's big scary crocodile and stuff like that i think i i i I um the, I, I think the funniest name out of all of them i think is roll Dahl boy it just has one word Boy. Okay, well, that's by our podcast by Kate and Alex. Nice one, guys. Now we have Sophia, Cecilia, and Maria. Hi, and welcome to the mystery. It is one o'clock. We have some sad, very sad news. But tomorrow we'll have some happy news for you. Hi, I'm Sophia and I'm going to read the next part. Today at 2 a.m., a girl named Rebecca MacDonald was murdered in Ireland, Temple Oak. She was 19 years old when she died. Um, the police were investigating her very sad death. Her mother and father were so saddened by their daughter's death. Detective Oshin and his guard dog Lexi are investigating. And that's all we have today. Bye from the mystery. Peace out. Question of the day is... Drum roll, drum roll please. What is the name of the song that's, that's go? Got do 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 do. A. Baby shark. B. Mammy sh- shark. Or C. Daddy shark. If you know the answer, text seven four two four or call zero eight seven two four five five one four three. Whoever texts and gets the an- right answer, they'll win a free trip to anywhere for free, and get a hundred night in a the most luxurious hotel, and you don't need to worry about anything. Your bills will be paid. While you're gone, good luck. Plus, you'll get a free pet. A dog, a poodle, a lizard, a wolf, a unicorn, a dolphin, a kangaroo, a parrot, a bunny, a chicken, or a horse. That's all we have today. Tomorrow, we'll have some very happy news. Thank you very much. Nice one. Next, we have Ava, Roche, and Vincent. The cat is in the box of cats made of boxes in the cat world of boxes made of cats made of pillows in a world. The end. And what about all of those cats? How do they speak? Cat face and a bunch of cats and some shoes and some lots of cats. That's it. Lots of cats. Okay, so we like cats in this group, yeah? Yeah. How do you feel about dogs? Um, Rats. Rats. Hey, I have two dogs. Don't like rats. Don't you have turtles? I used to have turtles. Vincent, do you have any animals? 
No, but I'm going to have a dog, I think. Nice. What about you? No? Okay. All right. Well done, guys. Last up, we have Killian and Sean. Last, but certainly not least. Oh, hello. Today we are going to be talking about the zombie apocalypse. Number one, make sure you heavily arm yourself. Make weapons out of sticks, but ask permission from your parents. Number two, zombies can get upstairs. You should replace your stairs with treadmills, then turn it, it to max. Even for an unfit human, this would be hard. Number three, make sure you have people like a doctor, policeman, a woman, and lots of friends in your group. That way, the zombies will have a bit of a challenge to take, which brings us to number four. By the time the zombies catch up with you and your group, you're going to be gone. We advise some place out in the ocean, say a deserted island. We don't know if zombies can swim, but if they do, they will drown themselves, and that brings us to the end of the list. Have a nice day. And this is Sean with his... Um, which is uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Use Capcan on shield rushes. With Valkyrie, always use MP12. Never use Sledge on assault. Well, always use it on hatches without reinforcements. Always be an alibi main. Okay, guys, very informative. At least now I know, I know what to do during a zombie apocalypse or playing Rainbow Six. Thank you. So that's all we have time for, guys. If you'd like to find out more, please go to createschool.ie. Check us out on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Thanks, and goodbye!